Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Saravanan calling from uh, CAI Chennai office. Uh, for the next uh, two hours, I'm going to spend time with you all in sharing about the CAI's uh, EHS Excellent Award, the framework of it, which we have planned for this 2013. So I will take you through a presentation which talks about what is this EHS Excellence Award is all about and share with you the methodology of the audit which we will be performing in the next few months. And for those who are participating new in this audit framework uh, will be an information for you. And for those who have already participated in the audit, it is just a repetition. So because you have already experienced the uh, audit in the past. So I will take you through the uh, EHS uh, Excellence Framework. So the objective of this assessment is to determine the EHS uh, Excellence in the plant. Uh, so please uh, consider this is not a fault finding exercise because we are not going to give any certification kind of thing uh, to the companies. We are the objective of when we designed this uh, audit framework to go to the plant and conduct the audit is to develop the organization in terms of uh, the EHS performance is concerned using professionals from various organizations. I work for Michelin Tires, but today I am representing CAI and conducting this session. I go as an auditor to a plant. So I share the practices what we do. Like that we have people from various uh, companies who have got a fairly a good amount of experience working in an industry for say 20 years, 30 years and 40 years uh, in the field of uh, EHS and they go and perform the audit to sensitize the organization in improving the EHS performance. We are not going to give a certificate for anybody. We are going to recognize the performance. We are, our objective of all the assessors who will come to the plant is to look at the EHS performance they learn, of course, definitely from your organization what they see. Definitely they improve their knowledge, one side. On the other side, we have, the, as an organization, you have an experienced auditor in the field of EHS who is coming to find out and give you a third eye and help you to improve the performance. So that is the objective. So we will, our assessors have been already trained uh, to use the framework which is defined by uh, CII and they will come and facilitate the organization to conduct, to improve the performance of EHS. So that is the objective. So please uh, be transparent in sharing uh, your uh, EHS level in the organization and what exactly you are doing in terms of EHS operation is concerned, please feel free to take any suggestion, recommendation from them. And I, when I say transparent, it is transparent in both sides. We are open to sign a non-disclosure agreement to give a confidence to you that whatever we see in your plant, when our assessors come to your plant, when they do the audit, whatever we see will remain with CII. It doesn't go to anybody else apart from that. So we commit to provide a sign, to sign a non-disclosure agreement in case if it is needed. So the fundamentals of this excellence, 
is to be sure that EHS management system is implemented aligned with the relevant standards that we apply for and applied in accordance with the existing documents what you have be effective adequate compared to the laid down objectives what you have defined for your organization so it is it has to be adequate it has to be coherent and it is very well implemented and you feel the benefit of implementation and it is effectively followed okay so these are all the fundamentals which we are telling our assessors when they visit your plant so we are covering all the five states of south india to assess the performance of the industries of different sectors manufacturing sectors service sectors construction industries and various uh, sectors uh, which we are uh, assessing uh, covering all the five states which includes the pondicherry as well uh, for this uh, framework we have been doing this for the past uh, seven years in the initial years for the past three years at least we were conducting a presentation in a hotel where different companies come and present based on the presentation material the assessment is uh, uh, evaluated and the awards are given for the past three years and this is the fourth year of the new framework which we have formed wherein our assessors from CII will go to the factory and assess the plant okay and this is the new methodology which we have formed four years back and we have been following it now since then uh, I am sure you will you you may be aware of the uh, screening methodology wherein probably you would have sent the application uh, to CA at the first stage then this application is reviewed by a committee in uh, CIA and they accept the application and we define the date for the audit then there are assessors we have a pool of assessors who are who will be assigned to various organization and uh, based on the mutual concern of both the company which will be audited and also the availability of the assessors we de we define the date for the assessment auditors most of the people are working professionals are freelance consultants so we will have to take the timing of all the assessors and then we define the dates and it's also based on your availability to host the assessor so when the assessor comes to your the site Typically, this is what will be the methodology. We wish to see an introduction presentation for a maximum duration of 60 minutes by the company. See, here we wanted to restrict to 60 minutes is because we wanted to spend more time in the shop floor, in the plant, in the office areas. So we wanted to cover your area. We are there in your premises. So we wanted to physically see, not sitting in the meeting room and looking at the PowerPoint presentation or Excel spreadsheets. So we are restricting the presentation to 60 minutes maximum. And then the, there is also a timing allocated for the document review, which will vary between one to two hours based on the size of the organization, based on the documents which the assessor will mandatorily have to see and uh, it could be any time after the presentation and uh, there is also a plant visit and interaction with the plant personnel here when I say plant personnel he will have the option of choosing anybody in the plant uh, be it is a contract worker who is doing a housekeeping activity or it is a very senior official in your organization uh, he have got the option of interacting with any levels of the people either it could be a manager or an engineer or a supervisor or a contract supervisor or whoever it is 
who are working inside the plant he will the assessor will have different level of questions to ask the different type of people to know about the ehs awareness of the plant personnel working so when i say plant personnel it is any level in the organization which will be chosen by the assessor to talk okay. so he will choose to whom and it varies it is there is no set guideline for the assessor but it varies he will meet many people and then he will ask the question uh, uh, based on the levels of their operation to know the ehs awareness of the people so this is predominantly for uh, uh, more little over half a day uh, or four hours uh, he will be spending if it is a one day audit okay and uh, he will have a, not a very formal closing meeting but a summary he will share uh, in term, uh, verbally or orally uh, to the team who have participated in the uh, audit and he will not be giving any audit report at the end of the audit which he will have to prepare and submit it to cia and this communication will come to you after the award function so the audit report will reach you after the award function uh, the basic assessment of uh, the assessor uh, will be submitted to you there will not be any scoring of the plant which will be shared it will be the assessment report on the observation what uh, the assessor have seen in terms of what is the what are all the positive things which he has seen what are all the best practices he has seen and what are all the areas for improvement uh, he wanted to recommend to you to focus on is something which he will see and uh, during this uh, day visit uh, in case if you have been audited before Uh, he will also look at the previous audit findings see because if you would have participated in the same ca ehs award before you would have been sent an audit report uh, by cii which will have the uh, areas for improvement uh, this will be reviewed by the assessor when he comes to your plant if you are participating for the first time then you don't have a requirement of that kind but when you have already participated he just wanted to know what you have progressed in terms of uh, the improvement in the observation is concerned so pretty much uh, this is the methodology one hour of presentation max one to two hours of document review max and uh, more than uh, close to four to six five hours of uh, a uh, plant visit interaction with the plant personnel in case if the auditor feels that the audit timing have to extend it beyond say 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in case if it goes up to 7 it is based on the mutual concern between the auditor and the audit or the assessor and the assessee okay and for some of the large organization we may decide for two days of audit because we need to give a very fair representation and assessment of the company wherein we will be assessing for two days uh, so for some of the organization it may be one auditor who will come and for some of the organization it will be two auditors who will come for one day okay uh, we are in the process of planning our resources availability the size of the organization which we will be auditing the challenges which we will have in terms of auditing is concerned so uh, we are in the process of defining quite soon we will be communicating that to the respective companies individually so we will have three formats one is a company will be audited by one single auditor for one day or a company may be audited for by two auditors for one day and the company may be audited by two auditors for two days so this is to have a fair assessment of all the ehs requirements in the plan and this is purely depend on the size of the organization the assessment criteria there are three grids which we are looking at we are looking at safety occupational health 
or industrial hygiene and environment. These are the three areas which we are broadly looking at. There are various stages. There are certain things which are minimum mandatory things which a company have to are comply with and there are certain things which are desirable uh, wherein uh, there is an assessment criteria available with the assessor he will come with the EHS checklist with which he will score and the scoring rate will go from 0 to 100 and at the end of the assessment uh, we will decide uh, this year and it is going to be new from this year onwards where we will be deciding on the star rating. This star rating will be either 4 star or 5 star based on the scoring that an organization is obtaining and based on the assessment report which we receive from the audit assessor. Okay, this is going to be new from this year onwards. Uh, we have not decided on the 2 star, 3 star rating so far. We have decided on 4 and 5. Uh, but this will not be communicated initially now. It will be communicated during the award function. Rating of the company is the purely based on the on-site assessment. Okay. And it covers all the environment, health and the safety aspect uh, which are taken into account to determine the rankings for the excellence in the performance of EHS. So when you register for this EHS award, there is a pre-assessment dossier which is required to be submitted to CAA. So when you submit this to CAA, CAA will in turn review this and then they will hand it over to the assessor as a part of their preparation before they come to their site, come to your site. They will have this document with them. And they would have gone through this document fairly uh, so that they are well prepared when they reach your factory for or your office for assessment. It broadly contains the policy, EHS policy what you have. The person who is responsible for uh, EHS statutory and legal compliance related issues. And uh, the list of statutory and uh, legal requirements that are applicable for the plant or for the site, for the office, because we have different sectors which are uh, representing here. And copy of the site procedure for carrying out the EHS risk assessment. We are not asking for aspect and impact study report, but we are asking for the site procedure for carrying out the EHS risk assessment. Or HERA, uh, the procedure to carry a conduct a HERA is something which we wanted to have before we come for the assessment. And also, we wanted to have the objectives and targets which you have defined for this year. When I say year, we are looking at only 2012 and 2013 performance, not beyond. Okay. Copy of the site EHS clearance, approvals, authorizations, procedure for handling any changes, that is uh, any process change, modification change, any additions. Basically, it is a management of change requirement uh, which we will be looking at. And uh, the EHS training procedure, emergency response procedure, and uh, any other guideline which you want the assessor to know. Okay. These are all something which you will have to submit as a pre-assessment dossier to CAI. And this will be shared with the assessor before he comes to your uh, premises for audit. And this slide shows about the presentation which you will have to make for a maximum of one hour. It can be less than that, but definitely we don't want that to be more than that. And these are all the guidelines which we have defined wherein the presentation shall contain the emergency evacuation response, any do's and don'ts uh, for the assessor to know the safety rules, uh, PP compliances, if at all anything is there, which the assessor have to comply with in your plant. And uh, a brief about your production, manufacturing process, the services, what you are doing. Uh, basically, what business you are doing in the premises, 
what is your manufacturing flow a site plan layout uh, which shows what are all the uh, areas you have in your plant how big it is what are all the buildings you have what do you do uh, in the site uh, a, a flow of manufacturing if it is a manufacturing plant you can make include it in the presentation to give an introduction about the plant okay this will give him a fair idea the it will give an idea to the assessor to prepare his uh, plant tour he know what are all the areas that are there in this plant and he can plan where he need to go how which area he need to look at and there is a ehs policy statement deployment measures examples of how each of the policy commitments are implemented and tracked for awareness and you will have the ehs objectives and targets and the status of it examples of how these are attained and sustained how do you implement the training uh, in the plant and how do you measure the effectiveness of training and what are all the mechanisms you use for training your employees how do you track the how do you how you have defined the skill levels of the people uh, and how are you improving the skill levels of the employees is something which he will he will be interested to know and this could be in a presentation or you can show after the presentation you can show it as a document review uh, ehs but you can give a summary or you can give a, sm a small snapshot of what you are doing in terms of training is concerned and you can showcase some of your ehs improvement projects uh, which uh, uh, you have done in terms of resource conservation water conservation etc and from this he will be in a position to pick up any best practices uh, from your plant which can be showcased during the ehs uh, award function so uh, please feel free to showcase uh, your uh, best practices which you follow in your plant and uh, please be restrictive to 2012 and 2013 improvements not beyond because our assessment is restricted to 2012 and 13 not definitely beyond so please avoid uh, uh, and please be aware of the uh, timing what you have uh, which is uh, exactly one hour and uh, please be restricted to what you wanted to showcase that have been improved in the past two years 2012 and 2013 uh, please do avoid presenting historical documents okay and then what are the behavior based initiatives you have uh, taken to improve the ehs performance is something which uh, you can share uh, these are all guidelines but please feel free to add anything any other information which you feel uh, Uh, better for you to showcase your ehs performance uh, in this one hour time uh, because this one hour is your time these are all some guidelines which we have laid out but it is not restricted within this you can expand but be uh, consistent and be contented within the uh, 60 minutes time that's the only requirement because we wanted to spend more time in the shop floor or in the uh, plant or in the office during the document review the assessor will look at certain documents like uh, your uh, ehs system manual the procedures uh, ehs risk assessments uh, the document where you have he can pick up a sample of a risk assessment and uh, he would also be interested in seeing uh, your legal register uh, the concerned permits what you have the monitoring data what are all the legal and statutory informations you have how do you track that how do you report where do you stand in terms of your performance is concerned and he will also be interested in knowing the objectives and targets how well the management programs are implemented reviewed by the management uh, how 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 is it how will in terms of the resource allocation is concerned uh, to meet your objectives and targets he would be interested to know that accidents and incident statistics uh, which covers all the uh, three aspects of safety environment and hygiene related things what are, how the investigations are conducted 
and what are the corrective and preventive actions you have in place uh, to for the accidents uh, that happen in your plant and how do you communicate how do you share the best practices from uh, other plants of yours in case if you have uh, so how it is horizontally deployed in other plants or other shops or similar situations uh, which prevails uh, elsewhere is something which he will be looking at and he will also be interested in knowing the emergency response and prevention plan uh, he will be looking at the mock drills mock drill reports uh, any abnormalities that are there and the mitigation system for that he will be deeply diving into the training and competencies of the people the records associated with that how a prog as a program the training and competencies are, uh, are driven and he will also like to go through the committees you have which involves uh, employees of all levels in performing the monthly or quarterly committee meetings uh, what are the behavioral improvement measures you have taken in the organization uh, the internal audit how robust it is so how the non conformance are treated so how well uh, the uh, internal audits are performed so how serious it is so all those things he will be looking at it from the documentation perspective he will also look at the management review reports and he will also be keen to know about the monitoring records with regard to ehs is concerned which we have mentioned before after that he will go for a plant tour sometimes he may decide to go for the plant tour after the presentation itself to have an idea of what the plant is all about and then come back for a document review or sometimes he decides to complete the presentation after that the document review then he decide to go for a plant tour is left to his uh, discretion uh, which will be based on your uh, plant uh, layout he will visit the plant he will definitely go for uh, all the utilities facilities offices any, all the surrounding areas uh, so he will have the discretion to go to any place in the uh, organization unless otherwise you have a very specific uh, requirement or restriction for the visitors to visit okay he will also discuss with your plant personnel about the awareness on the ehs uh, topics how well the people know about the ehs policy do they know about the ehs objectives and targets and how well they are aware of the emergency responses what do they do when they meet with an accident or when they meet with a near miss what do they do okay are they aware of the hazards and risk in their particular area of work so something uh, associated in these topics uh, he will uh, he will ask anybody uh, it's not that he will pick up one question one person and then ask all the questions to the same person he may ask a different questions to different people uh, whomever we he meet or whomever he choose uh, in the organization uh, whichever be the level it is that's something which he will do in the as a part of the uh, plant rounds he will carry an assessment checklist uh, which will have a broad number of questions which are associated with these topics he will have questions associated with the assessment of the effective implementation of the ehs policy very specific and he will have a methodology to score based on what he is uh, uh, receiving the information he receives from you the document he sees and based on the interactions he make uh, he will fill up the uh, assessment uh, questions okay so he will look at the effective compliance levels with regard to ehs concern uh, he will not go beyond ehs uh, that is uh, perimeter okay and the dynamic nature of ehs risk assessment how well it is moving whenever there is an improvement that is done in the plant whether it is reflecting in the ehs risk assessment the, the scores are uh, reduced whenever a new equipment comes whether it is the document is updated so these uh, things which he will uh, look at he will look at the objectives and targets of the uh, shops uh, he will look at uh, the organization uh, the structure 
and responsibilities he will have certain questions to ask uh, about the structure and responsibilities how well we are training our people uh, so there are certain set of questions to understand how well the people are trained how the uh, abnormalities are prevented and uh, whenever there is an emergency how well an organization is uh, uh, prepared to address their uh, emergency and uh, how well the uh, anomalies are handled when there is an accident that happens when there is an unsafe condition is seen or if uh, somebody is performing an unsafe act so how it is uh, handled from an organization perspective how is it captured how is it communicated he will have certain questions associated with that and then he will have a rating for uh, these questions and uh, next is on the EHS assessments and audits more focus will be on the internal audit uh, for sure and uh, he will see what are the how well uh, the internal audits findings are the external audit findings are taken up uh, I am not talking about the CA audit or assessment I am talking about any assessments that was uh, conducted by the organization using an external people or uh, if there is an internal audit that is planned then how well the internal audit findings are taken up and then how it is improved upon. Uh, he will have certain questions uh, to know. Uh, then uh, with regard to EHS performance monitoring uh, he will have certain questions to ask you uh, to see uh, by himself how it is monitored in the plant or in the office uh, because uh, he will come with the impression of uh, what you measure uh, you improve so definitely he will look at it, this uh, critically and uh, the management's of focus and commitment uh, for not only for our activity it's also for the outsource activity uh, controls if anything is there in case if you have outsourced an activity, so how well you are controlling uh, the EHS risk in the uh, outsourced area. Operation controls, involvement of employees at all levels, which includes the contractors also. Uh, when the assessor comes, he will not differentiate between a company employee and a contractor employee. From the EHS parlance, uh, we don't differentiate uh, a company employee and a contractor employee differently. Uh, because it's for business reason, we outsource the activity, we engage contractors. But from the EHS side, we don't look at uh, it differently because a risk is a risk, either it is for an employee or for a contractor. Okay, he will have certain questions associated with the personal protective equipments uh, in terms of uh, how well uh, the requirements are identified uh, and how the PPEs are assessed, um, the need of the PPE, how well the people are aware in terms of wearing the PPE, conforming to the PPE requirements and things like that. It's not just wearing a PPE. Uh, we uh, we give an impression. It's more of a it's more of conducting a risk assessment and uh, trying to find out uh, different solutions. And finally, if we arrive at the PPE as one of the end of the pipeline solution, then we will see how uh, we are following up uh, this as a program, how it is replaced, how the PPEs are disposed, and things like that. Assessment of nature resource conservation programs, sustainable development initiatives, whatever you have done in your plant as a program, uh, he would like to know about it. He will be rating, giving scores uh, for uh, good things, whatever he see in your plant. And there will also be certain specific assessments and uh, the effectiveness of high risk controls, uh, which uh, he will have in the plant. Uh, to look at uh, certain things which are specific in nature. So high risk uh, controls like usage of uh, forklifts, usage of the uh, uh, working at a height and then uh, there are certain high risk activities which are uh, Basically, he will look at the construction site in case if you have uh, confined space works uh, and he will look at the uh, vehicle and the pedestrian management inside the premises. Uh, in case if you have forklift movement inside, how well the traffic flow 
between people movement and forklift movements are planned you will also look at uh, any bulk material handling storage how well it is uh, performed and in case if you have uh, a maintenance activities with regard to gardening uh, and uh, landscaping activities uh, he will be looking at uh, the uh, risks that are controlled in that and uh, he will also look at the effectiveness of equipment and facilities uh, in case if you have uh, UPS in case if you have uh, air handling units uh, in uh, office how well the sick building syndrome is controlled how do you how frequently you are cleaning it how well you are maintaining the temperature inside the office uh, uh, in case if you have a vending machine how will it check in case if you have a UPS uh, a room or battery charging room so how will the EHS risks are controlled in that the fire protection requirements in the server room uh, how will it is com controlled and in case if you have a boiler a thermic fluid uh, units or a water treatment or wastewater treatment plants the risks associated with that EHS risks associated with that how is it controlled he will also be looking at uh, very critically on the ergonomic controls that you have in your plant or in an office uh, he would also like to see the lockout tagout program or a spill control measures what you have in case uh, if there is an electrical distribution of high voltage uh, so he will look at it from the arc flash perspective and things like that so these are some of the broad areas which he will be looking at I will not say that he will look at all the aspects but he will look at it uh, some of the aspects but he will go in deep and he will also will have the option of visiting the scrapyard uh, office areas in case if there is a server room he will definitely visit to know because for many of the organization a server room is one of the very critical thing and the fire protection is an important area for it uh, he may visit the parking lots he may look at how the risks associated with the neighbors are identified and controlled uh, so these are all some things which he will look at it from the on-site assessment perspective pretty much what uh, I have covered uh, and uh, at the end he will prepare a EHS assessment report which will talk about his observation during the time he has spent in your factory or in your office or in your if it is a service industry in your premises so he will put across all his observations and categorize it as the positive observation or the observation for uh, improvement or any best practices we see he will recommend to the core committee here in CII for showcasing it in the EHS award function so uh, you have an option of uh, showcasing the best practice what you follow in your plant or in your premises in the EHS award function where we will give an opportunity for you to present that so it is the responsibility of the assessor to pick up uh, the best practices from your organization and recommend it to the EHS core committee to include it in the uh, EHS award function so this is also a responsibility of the assessor and he will be picking up and later on based on the recommendation based on the finalization CA will come back to you uh, with an opportunity to present in advance in during the EHS award function so with this I I complete my uh, presentation which I wanted to share with you uh, and then I am open for any questions now so in case if you have a question then you can type it I will be in a position to see your question and then I will uh, I will respond to you by my watch so uh, please feel free to ask any questions so I will try and answer one by one okay Okay. 
now i will start uh, answering for the questions there are many questions that are uh, pouring in i will try and answer uh, to the top. Okay. Oh, 